Today we're going to be making some Silver Ghost carburetor return springs. These were not fitted to all models, but are used to pull the throttle back from the open position in conjunction with the linkage. These springs are not currently available, and so we're actually winding a bunch up here at the Vintage Garage. We've started by making an aluminum mandrel. This is made out of 5 8 aluminum, except that the 5 8 made the springs just a little bit large. So what we ended up doing was cutting a pattern into the mandrel that exactly gets the spring steel turned to the right circumference to allow it to fit up inside the carburetor. We're using 053 inch piano wire, also called music wire, which will take its own set and is quite soft. The wire is placed through a hole that's set in the mandrel, and then the wire is stretched out, and we'll turn it in using a lathe to power it. In order to control the wire, it is clamped in a set of vice grips, and I'm using a gloved hand as well, because if it snaps, it can cause a nasty cut. The wire is under tension, and now the lathe on a slow back gear setting is used to wind the wire in and set the coils. A lot of tension is being kept on it as it wraps around. And we will simply pull the full length of wire around the mandrel and later we will cut it to length to be a perfect fit in the carburetor. We're reaching the end of our coil. Again, a lot of tension is still on the piece of cable, the piece of music wire. And now that it's reached the end of its run, we'll release the tension on it and it will snap out to its full diameter. And once the ends, once the ends are cut, we will have a stretched correct diameter and correct length spring to use inside our carburetor. The way this works is that it slides up into the carburetor barrel. Here's a finished one. It's got a nice fit right here and it will collapse fully allowing the carburetor to seat. Note that not all ghost carburetors have a wide throat here Many of them are small and will not take a spring. They're only slightly larger than the guide on the throttle body. If that's the case, the barrel here needs to be modified in order to handle the spring. And that's something that we can do here at the Vintage Garage. 